One of my most popular videos was the dissolving of iodine in cyclohexane. In this video we're going to repeat this, this experiment but we're going to do it in a slightly different way and we're going to look at iodine dissolved already in Ki and that reacting with the cyclohexane. Let's have a look and see how it goes. <laughs> In this experiment I want to have a look at dissolving iodine which is already dissolved in potassium iodide into cyclohexane. Oil floats on water so we're going to put the iodine solution in first. Now this iodine solution is what you're familiar with when you're doing the iodine test experiments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of iodine solution I think that's probably enough I don't want to overdo this and I'm then going to use some cyclohexane on top of this this is particularly nasty stuff, it's harmful to the environment, it's, it's inflammable and it won't do you an awful lot of good if you drink any. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this cyclohexane but I'm going to try and put it down very carefully so that I float it on top. If I can do this well, the solution comes out quite clear, and if I don't, it becomes rather purple. It's quite purple there, really. I'll try again. What we should get is a nice clear liquid on top. The Ki will stay that sort of browny colour and what we get doesn't look too bad. We get this interesting very purple layer I'll put a little bit more cyclohexane in. I'm trying to be very gentle as I do it. There, I've done that. I'll put the lid on because it's rather obnoxious smelling liquid which you fortunately can't smell and I've got here a little stopper and we'll put the bung in the top so we've got a nice clear layer of cyclohexane we've got this iodine dissolved in Ki Iodine doesn't dissolve in water very well, so we've got it dissolved in a solution of potassium iodide. And there is this purple band at the very bottom. Let's give it a little shake. Having given it a little shake, now I'll leave it to settle and the oil will float on top of the water layer and what we will get is a much lighter colour of the potassium iodide with the iodine solution because the iodine has preferentially come out of that solution where it doesn't dissolve very well and has dissolved in the cyclohexane which it dissolves in very well and it gives this very typical purple colour which we use to identify iodine. 
So there we are, a very simple experiment. Potassium iodide with the iodine solution, iodine dissolved in the solution, and in this experiment.